<laughs> Hello. My name's Jamelia. I'm a singer, model and a mother of two. Like a lot of black women, I've grown up experimenting with hair extensions. And when my job requires it, I wear them to bring out the diva in me. But I've noticed it's no longer just women like me who are boosting their locks. How natural does that look? All over Britain, celebrities and ordinary girls alike are clipping, gluing and sewing extra hair onto their heads. I'm on it. I'm on it. But this is no synthetic substitute, it's 100% real human hair. Wow, we have an amazing show tonight. For me, hair extensions aren't just about longer or thicker locks. Big, glamorous hair helps me to become Jamelia the pop star, my divalicious alter ego. But it seems hair extensions are now becoming a must-have on the red carpet. They're hard to spot, but take it from me, most A-listers are wearing them. The best quality hair comes from Russia. Tatiana is a Russian hair extensions expert living in London. She does nearly a thousand sets of extensions every year for her private clients, who include West End dancers, models and several transvestites. Tatiana, hello. hello. Hi, I'm Jamelia. Lovely to meet Lovely you. Lovely to meet you too. Now, I've heard that Russian hair is the best hair. That's true. That's what they say. I mean, um, they say the texture of the hair is very fine mm -hmm. and um, it's quite... I think the other um, very important point is the, the country is very big and lots okay. of people selling their hair. Uh -huh. The demand is a lot more kind of... It's bigger than, than supply mm -hmm. now. It's exciting. What do we... Tatiana receives a box of 50 or 60 ponytails from Russia every month. Oh, lots of bags, don't you want? So let's have a look what we have there. Right. That's amazing. 22 inches. That's beautiful color as well. Natural brown, you know, natural warm brown. That's gorgeous. It's long, it's wavy, which gives um, nice volume. It's probably from some young girl. Really soft, beautiful hair. Sometimes, say, they're sending something like that, and I don't think I'll be able to use something like that. It's just a mess. So this has to go back. A good 30% or 40% of hair has to go back. This is tangled. Oh my god, what is that? And this is just orange. Because the mail order hair is a bit hit and miss, Tatiana prefers to travel back to Russia to source top quality hair herself. And this time, I was going with her. Moscow is full of image-conscious girls wearing the right labels and carrying the right bag. And long hair is definitely part of the look. Oh, my God! <laughs> Please make sure she's sure about it. She yeah, she said she's. Then you should go to the Gatova. Yeah, she... I know what that means, OK. <laughs> God, I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. OK. God, it's so soft. Mm. Tatiana admitted most girls get the equivalent of 20 pounds for their ponytails. But she decided to give this girl 4,000 rubles, nearly 100 pounds, which is most people's monthly income here. Raz, dva, tri, štiri. Pasiva. Mm-hmm. Is it the younger the person the hair comes from, the better the hair is, the better the quality of hair? Um, I think it's just uh, because she's never actually coloured it. Uh -huh. That's what, that means yeah. the younger the person, she's never mm -hmm. actually straightened or curled or yes. you know, bleached it or anything like mm -hmm. that. If you want the best hair, Do a young girl with long yeah. hair yeah, 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 is best. Of course. Yeah. 